Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to the cave, the man cave. Today I just thought I'd pop in and do a, a real quick video and show you what I've been working on, give you a little uh, update of what's happening in the cave here. I got my big boy Rocco who's being rambunctious as usual. Come here. Come here. Say hello all the nice people. Say hello, all nice people. Not me, <laughs> silly boy. Okay, sit down. Alrighty, so what I'm working on today is... <coughs> really? What I dubbed the Caveman Quilt As You Go Strip Quilt, or String Quilt, however you want to refer to it. And... It's one of my favorite things to do. I love string quilts. I think they just pack such a punch. And they're so easy. It's really mindless, actually. And it's something that you can knock out in a fairly fast amount of time. So, um, let me put the camera down and you can see what I'm doing. And, uh... See if I can get this down here real quick. And yeah, I'm using my new brother machine. I really do like it quite a bit. Um, it's it's got one feature that kind of threw me off for a little bit was uh, it has a memorized needle down position so whenever you stop the needle is always in the down position but after I'm after I got used to it I kind of like that idea so yeah I'm just sitting here sewing some strips today I'm actually waiting for a uh, a delivery today so I'm sitting here what sewing and looking out my back window watching for the postman. Okay, got my little ender here. So other than other than the uh, the needle, the memorized needle down position. I really do like this machine quite a bit. In fact, I liked it so much I went out and bought a dedicated table for it. And uh, that makes a huge difference for me. I no longer have to move my, my machine from my kitchen table. whenever I want to do something or eat or work on a paying bills or whatever. I don't have to move everything off of the table. So yeah, I, and I really like this table quite a bit. It was very inexpensive from, from uh, oh, I can't remember if I got it from Amazon or Walmart. And it actually came with an LED light, a gooseneck light, for like $65. And I figured for that kind of price, this thing's going to be very wobbly. But no, it's fairly sturdy, actually. I'm quite impressed with it. So that's one thing that's happened, or that happened in the, in the cave recently. There's a new table. Um... I've been researching the possibility of purchasing another machine. I I have an old Janome 11 11K 11,000 that's a sewing and embroidery combo machine and I I did like that machine quite a bit. It was very expensive back when I bought it, just about $8,000 and that was Oh gosh, 12, 15 years ago, something like that. But I had it in storage for so long when I moved. And when I brought it out, for some reason, 
it turns on, but I get an error message and my uh, embroidery arm won't re or, uh, release. So I don't know. I'm going to have to maybe take it in and have it looked at and see if there's anything that can be done with it. So this is what I'm working on so far. But I've been researching the possibility of maybe purchasing another two-in-one machine. Because I do have some things that I would like to embroider. And I would like to be able to use it as a sewing machine as well. I know I can buy a $400 Brother machine that has an uh, embroidery area of like 4x4. Four four, but I want something that at least 5x7. Because most of the good designs are a little bit bigger. And I, I just I don't want to waste my time or my money on something smaller. So give me a minute. I'm going to take care of a little something. I'm going to get two more strips to add to this. And I'll be right back. And I'm back. So I'm continuing adding a few strips here. Just this and one more on the other side to complete this block. Okay. And of course I forgot my leader and my ender here. In case you're wondering, I am using two different jelly rolls here. Very similar in nature. One is wild iris and the other is iris and ivy. They're both very, very similar actually in colors and prints. And I, I'm making this for a friend of mine and she is kind of partial to purple so this does have quite a bit of purple and green in it and uh, there's also a um, focal fabric or a background fabric in the middle which is an off-white and that was also a jelly roll Something doesn't look quite right here. I, I'm going to restitch, just stitch over this. My uh, seam got a little, uh, a little off there, and I don't like that. I'm not going to pull it out. I'm since the seam went a little uh, narrow, I can just stitch right over that and make it a little uh, wider. I am using a quarter inch seam allowance here, and. Uh, I'm just using, his, this is what the back looks like. I don't know if you can see this all that well. I'm doing quilt as you go. Oh, I don't like that. I may have to pull that out. Yeah, I don't like that. I'm going to have to get uh, Jackson Pickett out and take care of that. That's, that's not good since it's on the back and it is the, uh, the quilting. I don't know if you can see that there's two lines of stitches there. So that's not going to work. So I will put this one aside, get my stitch ripper out, and rip that, and uh, redo it. That's, that just looks really, really bad. Especially when all your quilting is basically going to show on the back with it being... This is a bone-colored fabric in the back. Oh... Alrighty, well that's just kind of a quick update of what's been happening uh, here in the cave. Uh, get you situated here, Mike. The man cave is quite the disaster today because I've been sewing since bright and early this morning. And I just dropped something here. <laughs> and I just dropped something. Um, I've been sewing since very early this morning and I, I just took a quick time out for a quick lunch and now I'm back at it as I wait for the postmaster to deliver a package for me. So I hope everybody's doing well today. I'm doing okay. It's just an absolute miserable day here in Florida today. It's cool. It's rainy. 
it's very dark and gloomy. It's just what we call a fugly kind of day. So I just want to say thanks for stopping by and spending a few minutes of your busy day with me. If you enjoyed the video, which there wasn't much to enjoy, to be honest with you. But anyways, please give it the thumbs up. If you're new here to my channel, well, please subscribe and make sure that you smash down on that little bell indicator button and you'll get notified each and every time I upload more content. And there should be another video coming out very soon. As soon as this package gets here. I'm so excited for it to come because I, I really want to share it with all of you. All right. Well, take care. Have a your best day ever. Stay creative. Stay happy. Stay healthy. Stay safe. And I will see you all again very, very soon. Bye-bye for now. I am gone. Whoosh.